Hey guys, how's it going? I've been working uh, all day on this thing. Figured uh, there's the taper button top pop up piston I did. That's still a stock piston. I didn't do no piston swap in it. Uh, I'll show you the port work. I'm not going to give out the numbers because I intend on competing with the saw. So, but I'll tell you this, it's pretty hot. And it should be a good runner. There's the lower work, not much I could do in there. Pretty much textured it. The base is cut, it's about 55 thousandths off the base. The chamber's cut on the same taper as the piston. There is uh, the upper transfer work. I did fire the secondary two degrees uh, before the primary uh, I like doing that on these front fed uh, front fed ones there's the exhaust I did widen it uh, quite a bit I could have went quite a bit more but I'm pretty sure that's going to be uh, good enough I changed the the shape of it here's the the intake We go healthy long in it and I could have went uh, even bigger on my my lung is uh, short as the pistons are and these I could have went quite a bit more on that long but it's a short short piston it doesn't have a whole lot of piston support so I didn't I didn't want to take any more piston support away I did widen that intake too so uh, camera makes that look rough but that's really smooth that is probably smoother than factory uh, and then after cutting it I had to put that chamfer back in now I I think I have a new set of rings floating around here somewhere. I've got a halfway decent set of used ones there. I have the ones that came out of it, but I don't know. The edges feel fairly sharp. I'd like to put a new. I'd like to put a new set in. So. I know I got a new set of 661 ones, but I'm gonna do some look, and I'm pretty sure I think I got a set of cabers floating around. Uh, if not, I got a set of highway ones floating around. They're the ones that say HY, I think they're highway. Uh, but yeah, I still gotta wash up all this stuff. I don't think I'm gonna get too terribly far on this. Uh, tonight I'm running out of steam pretty quick. I'm pretty sure I got to work tomorrow. So, I'm probably, I might get the the top end, you know, put on and torque down. Uh, but I, I don't think I'm going to focus on, I mean, I got tons of stuff, little tiny stuff to wash. It's going to take up some time. I got to figure out what kind of muffler mod I'm going to doing this. I'm thinking I might do something like I did on that one Hot Rod 461. Uh, it'll be really neat to see this this 500 versus my other 500 because that other 500 is no joke. Uh, that's a super stout saw too so it'll be neat to see the clash of the 500s. I am suspecting this one uh, to beat the 9 horse or 8.99 uh, 7310 but it might not who knows uh, you know I'm, I'm most definitely hoping this is going to beat the other the other one they're quite a bit different but yet similar builds so it'll be interesting to see the to see the difference uh, everything else that I've done on this is washed up
uh, really, really good. Uh, on these, if you're going to be putting timing wheels on them, you got to pull the flywheel. I just use an Onan flywheel puller uh, and some bolts. I use that on quite a few uh, flywheels that uh, it's, it's fully adjustable and I just these are just studs I knocked out of an old junk 44 uh, uh, gas tank just throw them in by hand and the way I go I still got to wash up all this this little stuff fine rings got to wipe the computer brain box whatever ECU whatever it is the uh, this stuff turned out uh, pretty good plus that'll give uh overnight for everything to to dry but uh so that there is the port work on my second 500i so kind of crazy is the the arrow the steel sign and the part number is still still all visible I'll try to get you a shot of you know, that's how much taper I don't know how many degrees it is I just guesstimated but uh, alrighty I'm gonna call it a night you guys take it easy and have a good one